In the early 1830s, the Cobb family was one of the most prominent families in Athens. When John A. Cobb moved there, he invested in land where he developed plantations. John A. Cobb had two sons that are very important to Athens and even the nation as a whole. Howell Cobb and Thomas Reed Roots Cobb, known as T.R.R. Cobb, are those sons. In this investigation, you'll be learning about Howell Cobb, his wife Marianne Cobb, and one of their slaves, Aggie. Howell Cobb graduated from the University of Georgia with a degree in law and led a successful life as a politician. He became Solicitor General for the northern part of the state of Georgia, then a congressman in Washington, D.C. Eventually, he became Speaker of the House of Representatives, making him one of the most famous and powerful Southerners in the last antebellum decade. He eventually became the Secretary of Treasury of the United States under President James Buchanan. Though Howell wanted to run for president, he lost the Democratic nomination. He returned instead to Athens where he led the fight for secession and eventually enlisted in the Confederate Army. Mary Ann Lamar was one of the wealthiest young people in the state of Georgia when Howell Cobb married her in 1835. As a teenager, Mary Ann's father had passed away, leaving his estate to Mary Ann and her brother, John B. Lamar. Her wealth helped to launch Howell's political career. Together, Howell and Mary Ann had 11 children, though many did not live to adulthood. Aggie and her four siblings belonged to the Cobb family. Unlike many of the slaves in the mid-1800s, Aggie was literate. She and Marianne corresponded through letters about the business of the house when Marianne was away. Aggie, it seems, played an important role in the Cobb household, and Marianne was quite fond of her. Unfortunately, when economic hardship befell the Cobb family, Aggie and her siblings were put up for sale in order to pay the Cobb's debtors. Marianne bought Aggie back, but did not buy back Aggie's brothers and sisters. Not long after, Aggie asked permission to marry Isaac Mills, a slave who was also in Athens. Marianne wrote to Howell, who was away in Washington, to ask permission, which he granted. Marianne planned and held Aggie and Isaac's wedding at the estate. 